I am now introducing Insane Ian. Achievement unlocked! Greetings, Internet, and welcome to another episode of A Comedy Musician Reacts. My name is Insane Ian, I am a comedy musician and comedy music fan, and on this show I react to comedy music from the perspective of a comedy musician. Because that's what I am, and that's what I do, and that's what this is, and that's why you're here, and that's why this week I am reacting to the brand new music video from Jazz Emu. If this is your first time joining us, yes, as I said, I react to comedy music from the perspective of someone who does that themselves, a comedy musician. What that means for you is that I'm going to pause the video. Kind of a lot, actually. This way I'm not talking over the jokes and missing them, but also somehow so I can talk and analyze the video and see how the video works in tandem with the lyrics, how the two enhance each other and help elevate the art form. And sometimes it's talking about how the jokes work, the structure of the jokes, sometimes even explaining jokes, because that's always fun for people. And sometimes it means just sitting back and laughing my damn head off. It's a crapshoot whatever you're going to get, but I think it's a good time either way. If you like that sort of thing, please like, share, comment, subscribe, do all the things to feed the algorithm to get more eyeballs onto these videos. And if you really want to help the channel out, consider supporting me on Patreon, where patrons get to see these videos early, my music and videos early, exclusive reactions, and all sorts of other cool stuff like that. Anyway, all of that out of the way. Hope you all had a good holiday. Uh, and now we're diving in to the Stratcalf combo from Jazz Emu from his newest album. Uh, I saw a clip of this on Shorts on YouTube, uh, and it sounds like a song that he had on Shorts a while ago, so it seems like we've got a full version of this song now. I'm excited. Hope you are too. I haven't had a chance to listen to the new album yet. Um, by the time this video comes out, I probably will have because um, I'm going to be traveling for the holidays. I'm recording this before Christmas, but this comes out after. Uh, and uh, so, you know, traveling for the holiday, I'll be listening to music. So, let's dive into the video, shall we? I can't hear you. This is a pre-recorded video. Rhyming mood and good. Self-esteem good. Why not? Why not? It's a, it's a fun time. <laughs> it's just a, it's a powerful strut. The, uh, the bow-legged walk, very, very uh, Weird Al-style version of a cut, like in, uh, in uh, Living with a Hernia, he'll cut to the feet of him dancing like James Brown, and one of the foots goes, one of the foots, one of the feet goes all the way around in the dance. It's very funny, it's a good, it's a good visual gag, and you're strutting, and this strut is just kind of like a very rigid robotic march, not quite a strut, but hey... Comedy is funny. Um, I, I all, like I said, I've heard these clips already. The, crank the music to infinite. That's not, you'll go deaf. Um, but sure, that's a thing. Let's take it back a little bit. I, I just love the freaking invincible bit. That's the th how I heard it in the short. This is great. That's such a great move to have it cut to a faraway shot and have the music be quieter in that shot. Uh, it gives it a, a didactic feel to the music. Didactic music, of course, is music in a film or television show or now a music video where the person in the video, in the, in the visual form, in the movie, what have you, is hearing the same song that you're hearing. And when they turn it off, that stops it completely from playing for you and them. Uh, I think it's called diactic or didactic, something like that. Uh, but yes, I like when that happens in media. It's fun. Also, I have to wonder if any of these extras are actually extras or just people that happened to be there when he was filming. Oops. <laughs> toxic. 
randomly in a field now. Sure. Also, I love the old school headphones. That's good. <laughs> Whenever you're strutting, boy, the balance is critical. And also, give people the ooh. That's... Have that rhyme with good, ooh, whatever. Who cares? It's comedy. It's amazing. <laughs> Let everybody know that you're feeble and pitiful instead of freaking invincible. What a switch up on that. Amazing. <laughs> Pulmonarily pitiful. That was some spittle uh, on that cough. Well done. The strut cough combo. I, I it's not what I called it when I when I introed it before, but now I know how to pronounce the way they spelled that strut cough combo. Makes sense now with the words that they're speechering at my face hole. The side face holes. Well, technically these face hole too, because it's a video, but it's been a long day, y'all. That's all it's all. It, I'm just Words are... Oh, we get to see the spittle part again, because I, I rewound that far. Hooray. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. Num number one, just amazing on the music production like Jazz Emu always is. Just just funky and awesome and hilarious. But also, an amazing concept for a song. Let everybody know that you're frinkin' invincible by strutting. But also, let everybody know that you're feeble and pitiful, pulmonarily pitiful, by coughing. The strut-cough combo. Only in comedy music is this a viable concept for a song. I mean, it's a banger, and, you know, comedy music is still music, and that's a key thing to remember. So, like, but only lyrically could you make this a comedy song. You can't do that in a non-comedic song. People will still laugh at it, because comedy is funny. I said it twice this episode so far. Um, it's a thing, man, and I, I just appreciate that so much. It's just so fun. Oh, uh, yeah, this one... Moving, moving to the top for me already. The extras, the choreography, so much production value. Uh, just amazing. Amazing. <laughs> what, did, what did the book say there? Strut Saxophonka. Also, I love how, uh, and somebody in the comments pointed this out, I saw really quickly as I pulled the video up, I love how the person playing the saxophone is able to play uh, without taking off the mouth guard or moving uh, his fingers along the buttons. That's impressive skill. Just, just, just focused on walking in step with 
Jazz and and the lady and just moving together as one, not not concentrating on changing what notes you're playing. You've got choreography to remember, and then you know moving about with it. Uh, it makes it all the better, honestly. For a comedy video, it makes it great. I love all the people in the background watching them. Like, I don't know if they're actually hired extras or just people that were there when they were filming and it's just watching them being filmed. That kind of, like, voyeuristic uh, background character is great for this kind of thing because you you get a feeling like they're not part of it and they're just watching it the same way that we are when we're watching it on YouTube. They're just there experiencing it in all of its weirdness and glory. It's great. <laughs> okay. People strutting. Is everybody coughing, or only a few of them coughing? W whatever Strutting and coughing. The strut-cough combo. Wow. <laughs> uh, starring Lorena Rose, Treen, Jazz Emu, and Anthony Gopal. I'm guessing... Lorna, wa Lorna Rose Treen was the uh, woman he knocked over and uh, to feeble and pitiful for the coughing, and Anthony was the saxophonist. Heavy quote marks. Uh, that was phenomenal. That was absolutely great. Uh, great direction, Hunter Allen. Wow. And it just pulls back uh, the strut coughers. And yeah, here's a whole bunch of people. I'm guessing everybody that's pictured there in that line absolutely phenomenal <laughs> all right everyone keep going i love that takes <laughs> having to cough on beat wow that's a skill yeah <laughs> there's a great dance move of him her on his back sure as she coughs her lungs up that's amazing i love the outtakes on videos too that's great Wow, hope you guys enjoyed that. I sure as shit did. If you did, please go go show at Jazz... Uh, I can't words anymore. Go show Jazz Emu some love. Go check out the video. Link is in the description below if you want to see it without me yammering all over it. And of course, if you did like this video, uh, the one you're watching right now, please like, share, comment, subscribe, do all the things to feed the algorithm to get more eyeballs onto these videos. And if you really want to help the channel out like these people over here do, consider supporting me on Patreon where patrons get to see these videos early, my music and comedy early, exclusive reactions, and all sorts of other cool things like that. Anyway, we'll see you in 2024, everybody. Thanks. Bye. Merry belated Christmas. It was just that time of year. We just learned that the eggnog turns to have a cup of secondhand cheer. Better late than never. That always rings true.